You guys haven't seen me rant about the headphone jack in this room yet, have you? But today I'm taking a bit more of an interesting twist on it and arguing why it annoys me when companies keep the headphone jack in 2018. Prepare for me to probably tick you off. So it's one of the most old discussions we've ever had on this tech channel. In fact, one of the first videos to really super launch my channel into a place where lots of people were watching me was this video I made a long time ago just saying, no headphone jack, no problem. And that was before Apple removed it. In fact, that was before Motorola removed the headphone jack. That was back when every smartphone had one and the rumors were just starting to surface that the iPhone 7 would not have one. And I've been saying, look, I've been ready to ditch it since the iPhone 5. Ever since I switched to wireless earbuds, and that was, I believe, Bluetooth 3.0? Whatever it was, it was not as good as what we have now. I was just like, this is better. I don't even care if the audio quality isn't as good. Just the idea of not having your headphones be tethered to the device the music is coming from, I was always on board for. Then, of course, when the iPhone 7 came out, everyone reacted like we didn't see it was coming. Oh my god, there's no headphone jack. What if I want to charge while listening to music? What if I lose that dongle that Apple includes? I don't want to pay for AirPods. AirPods are super expensive. No one's going to buy them. I got to see all of these arguments and then watch everyone change their mind as time went on. A lot of people still make fun of Apple to this day for saying they had the courage to remove the headphone jack. And a lot of people seem to think that's a joke. I don't understand why, because in my opinion, no matter what your opinion is about removing the headphone jack, Apple was still making a courageous decision. So one of the most popular opinions, one, you don't like that they removed it. You want to use your old headphones. Apple, just provide an option. Keep using the headphone jack. Some guy hacked an iPhone 7 to fit a headphone jack in it, why can't you figure it out? Apple had the courage to take all of the hate for that, for saying that they believe in a wireless standard that headphones should not be reliant on that audio jack anymore, and they were prepared to deal with the consequences. I don't think Apple thought everyone would be okay with that. Apple's removed lots of ports throughout history, and every time they do it, they're met with tremendous hate from the public. But Apple was brave enough and had the courage to say, nope, we're gonna do it anyway. Or answer two, you like that they removed the headphone jack, and they did it in an atmosphere where not a lot of people were doing it at that time. Before the iPhone 7, there was like the Moto Z and the Oppo R5. That was like the two Android phones that have actually ditched the headphone jack before the iPhone. Phones that not a lot of people cared about. I still see them in public occasionally, but not very common, especially the Oppo. But since 2016, we've seen a tremendous shift in style. Now we had people who once hated AirPods now saying AirPods are the best pair of wireless earbuds you can possibly buy. I've seen countless reviews of people saying I hated these when they came out. They looked expensive. They looked stupid but now I find myself going to them every time I want to listen to something. And then we see other companies try to make their own version of AirPods and fail miserably. And large YouTubers often say that there is no version of wireless headphones that pair with an Android phone as good as a pair of AirPods pairs with an iPhone. Now, going into 2018, we're seeing more companies not have a headphone jack than companies keep a headphone jack. The Google Pixel lineup, which I do not have much favoritism towards, at least agreed that Apple was right to remove it. I just thought it was ironic because the Pixel made fun of Apple originally for removing the headphone jack and now they're ditching it themselves so it just felt hypocritical. But even new smartphone developers are not including them like the Razer phone or the Essential phone. They're including adapters for the headphone jack but even new companies going into the industry are saying nah we don't want a headphone jack. Obviously Motorola was one of the first to do this as well. Even companies overseas like Huawei are trying to enter the US market and not including a headphone jack. And I think they're all looking at the success of the iPhone. The fact that iPhones are the top selling smartphone brand, especially in quarter four of 2017, most of which do not have headphone jacks. And most companies are saying, okay, if we don't include one, we have more room for a battery or more features on the inside. Some companies like Google still decide not to include headphones. And they know that the user won't care very much because they either have a pair of wireless headphones, have a pair of wired headphones, and will use your adapter. Removing the headphone jack has statistically proven not to harm your sales very much. But we still have some giant players in the field, and I think you know who who I'm talking about, who are consistent about not removing that headphone jack. This consists of the biggest one being, of course, Samsung, and another cider to the headphone jack as well, LG, with the LG V30 still including a headphone jack. In fact, a beefed up one that has more DAC controls, which means things should sound better when you use certain types of headphones. And what really started to tick me off was when I watched an unboxing of the LG V30 on Unbox Therapy, which I do occasionally watch, and he said, this headphone jack should be beefed up. This one has that DAC support. So 
know that headphone jack sounds even better than regular headphone jacks. He plugs his headphones into it and it's kind of like... The volume is comparable to the Pixel 2 XL and if anything, the Pixel 2 XL might actually be a little bit louder. I do wish it gave a little bit more juice. There is a little bit of talk online about whether or not this DAC is being limited for some sort of safety reason. So that's a possibility as well. Well, I think it sounds better. And then he has to ask for over ear headphones and go, okay, let me listen to it on something else. Let me try it on here. Uh, maybe the software's not ready yet. And already I think this is a biased point of view because first of all, if you're comparing different headphones right next to each other, you compare a $30 pair of earbuds and put on a $300 pair of over ears and say, oh yeah, I can hear the DAC audio now. Just by the fact that you're trying out different pairs right next to each other, you're gonna notice a little bit of sound difference. But what bothers me about the companies that keep it around is that they're siding with a certain demographic that says, no, I want a headphone jack, I wish we could keep it no matter what, and just have that option, and saying, yes, we support you, we believe in you, we want to be the phone with the most options, while at the same time, you know they're not going to keep it forever. I don't think this is still going to be a debate between Samsung and Apple, you know, where you have all the anti-headphone jack companies on one side, and a couple of the last remaining headphone jack supporting companies, which, of course, includes Samsung, LG, and OnePlus, that's the one I was forgetting. All companies that right now are siding with, aren't those new smartphones awful? We provide you with an option. And yet, I know, I know for a fact within the next five years, or probably less, they're going to be ditching it themselves, and then they're gonna use the argument when they do ditch it, that, well, we wanted to wait until wireless technology was good enough. We weren't satisfied back then with how Bluetooth 5.0 was. We weren't satisfied that we couldn't include wireless headphones with the purchase. Now that enough time has gone by, and now that wireless technology has advanced enough to the point where there can be wireless headphones that we actually deem worthy, now we've decided it's okay to remove that option. Which to me is kind of the coward's way out because the only reason the industry is moving forward, because there's new wireless standards, because there's new development in wireless earbuds, whether it be by AKG or Bose or whoever's developing headphones that are gonna sound good enough and have less latency for Samsung, LG, and OnePlus to all change their mind. All of that development, all of that advancement really only happened because of other brands had a push to make sure that we can advance wireless technology. This is an everlasting history with Apple. If Apple does not remove certain things and tell us to adapt to different standards, and this goes back as far as removing the floppy disk drive, there's not really a need for consumers to try anything different. If Apple just kept including the headphone jack, everyone would keep using it. But because I think Apple has the courage to say, you know what, there's a better way, but you're not gonna choose it on your own. We're going to force you in a way to choose it, which many people are intimidated by. They don't want a company telling them what to do. And yet after the switch, as I've seen so many people tweet at me and so many people comment on my videos, you know, I didn't like AirPods when they first came out or I didn't like wireless when they first came out, but now I've tried it and now I can't go back. I've just gotten so used to not being tethered to my device wherever I go that I'm using wireless all the time now. I don't mind that I have to charge them. I don't mind that the latency is very slight and unnoticeable, but big companies like Apple or even Google that start pushing people to not use the headphone jack and start pushing people to move to a wireless future, that creates demand. That creates a market for wireless headphones, or it at least expands on that market larger than it was before. And now all these headphone makers out there have to go, well, since Apple's ditching the headphone jack and it seems like a lot of other companies are going forward with it, we better start making some wireless alternatives that sound better. And people who work on Bluetooth technology say, okay, lots and lots of smartphone brands are saying that audio cannot be delivered via a port anymore. Let's push Bluetooth further now. Let's see how much more it can do. It creates a demand and once development companies out there see that there's a large demand for wireless headphones that are cheap and sound good, that's what allows them to say, okay, let's pour more money into R&D. Let's make sure this is possible. And that's how we get this transition done. Whereas Samsung, LG, OnePlus, they take a backseat and say, let's let all of these other companies take the blame for not having a headphone jack, whether it be Apple, Huawei, Razer, Essential, Google, all of those companies that are ditching it and saying, no, we want a wireless future. We're going to let them take the blame for it. We're going to let YouTubers hate on them and we're going to keep around the headphone jack so we stay everyone's favorite. And then when all the work is done, when wireless technology has perfected itself and sounds amazing and there's hardly any difference between audio jack headphones and Bluetooth headphones in terms of latency and sound quality, then we'll switch over and then we'll say, we just wanted to wait until it was ready because it wasn't ready yet. It just seems lazy to me. It seems like the opposite of courage, which in my mind is just cowardness. We don't want to deal with any of the blame of 
people not knowing what they actually want. We just want to be a shoulder to cry on. Like, come here, we know. Removing the headphone jack, isn't that awful? How dare they? Five years from now, end up removing it. If you don't think they will and you just think that Samsung and LG are gonna keep the headphone jack no matter what, I encourage you to look at the argument with removable batteries. Way back when, they used to always use the argument, both LG and Samsung, that we're going to keep our idea of having removable batteries in our phones that are easy to access. If you're on a trip or something and your phone battery runs out, you should be able to pull off the back and then stick a fully charged lithium battery on the inside. Or back in LG G5 days, you were able to slide the whole battery out with little cartridges and slide new ones in with different modules, different cameras. And LG seemed very passionate about that. They said, no, we insist on keeping removable batteries. Now we see all of these companies not allowing that anymore. And as someone who usually watches Samsung keynotes and Samsung unveilings, their reasoning for removing that removable battery was we wanted to wait until the battery was good enough that you don't have to worry about replacing it. Now we've got to a point where our batteries are good enough and they last long enough that you don't have to replace it. That doesn't matter anymore. Then we had the Note 7, which was hilarious. So what I'm saying is if they're going the route of ditching the headphone jack later once all of these other companies have taken all the blame for it, even though I think they were the ones who had the courage to move forward with it and take the blame and take all the criticism, they still know they're right. And I'm sure that all of the R&D departments at Samsung, LG, and OnePlus really desperately wish they could remove the headphone jack so they could store that extra battery in there so that extra camera, maybe make haptic feedback better. There's tons of ideas they have with that giant hole they have in their phone and they can't use it because the marketing team at that company is saying, no, 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 we need to keep pushing the fact that we have a headphone jack and other companies don't because that ever shrinking piece of the pie matters to them. They have to reach that demographic until it is small enough that it doesn't matter anymore and then they'll remove it. I'm sure they will. It's not a if statement to me. And the people out there saying that they never will, do you honestly think that there's gonna be a headphone jack on your phone 10 years from now, 20 years from now? I don't think there's gonna be any ports on your phone by then. So that's what bothers me about companies keeping the headphone jack just because they're like, we figured it out, we provide options. When in reality, in the backstage, they're just waiting for all the other companies to keep getting the hate until those other companies just keep getting the hate until no one's hating them that much. Then the backstage companies will be like, okay, everyone's done hating anti-headphone jack phones. Sure, we'll ditch it now. Now the wireless technology's ready. You guys did all the R&D, you guys did all the work, you guys got all the hate, now we'll step into your market. So that's what bothers me in case some people were wondering, Drew, why does it bother you to have a headphone jack on the phone? You can still just not use it. I'm aware of that. I have an iMac Pro, a MacBook Pro, and an iPad with a headphone jack that I've never used once. No, I do not have to use it, but I think it's pretty lazy and simply just cowardly for companies to keep using it because they're afraid of bad press. But then people will hate us. So you guys get hated. You guys take all the blame and we'll just step in when it's all figured out. Thanks. Yeah. That just bothers me. Anyway, that wraps it up for my thoughts on today's video. Keep in mind that all of my opinions on this are still limited to the smartphones themselves. To the people out there saying that you audio professionals, you audio editors need that headphone jack because of latency, I'm talking about smartphones in today's video, okay? This was not an argument about headphone jacks on laptops and desktops. That's a different debate and I was not trying to address that today. I was mostly talking about Samsung, LG, and OnePlus keeping headphone jacks on their mobile smartphones. On other devices, I get it, you have your arguments, but audio professionals are not doing audio editing on their smartphone. That's why I think Apple's removed it on the iPhone lineup, but not on the iMac or MacBook lineup. So don't try to use that argument in the comments, please. You have other arguments, I'd love to hear them, but personally, I don't think many people notice the DAC audio difference. And I think that if they tried some of the wireless alternatives out there that are now available, they would start to realize why they want to move in that direction and why wireless is the future. And it always has been. I just don't see the point in getting mad about it now and you know it is the future. All your thoughts on this debate, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure we're gonna have a very civil one where everyone's very friendly. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.